First of all, I want to preface this by saying that I am an artist myself. Well, at least back in the day, I was doing my thing, you know, singing and all that, you know, you know. But I have something to stand on when I talk about this. So some time ago, I made a video about Jaylene La Mas Viral, a famous Dominican singer, and Anuel AA, who was also a famous a uh, rapper from oh, uh, Puerto Rican descent. And my money just tripled. I had a good time and it cost me a little. So I found peace, tranquility, faith in my ability. I couldn't take no more, so I left the Matrix. So earlier this year, they announced that they broke up and now Anuel he's doing his own thing and Jaylene she's doing her own thing but within the past month we've all been seeing these uh, videos on Instagram and things of that nature with Jaylene and Takashi 69 so they just made it official recently that they're both are a couple and they put out a song together, Parti, which, mean, which means for you, that was very successful, very successful. And they were due to perform that song on stage at the Premio Juventud in Puerto Rico earlier this month in July. So needless to say, that did not happen. The organization that governs the awards did not want Takashi 69 to come to the award show and because of that Jaylene did not perform so that's another story there are a couple and I guess that's what couples do right they sit together but the reason why I'm bringing this up is because just a couple of weeks ago a song came out that is right. and this song was a Takashi 69 song that featured Kodak Black and Jaylene but before I get to the song let's backtrack a bit so Premios Juventud it was said it was rumored that Anuel AA had some sort of influence on the decision of not allowing Takashi 69 to perform would that be the case or not he did not perform so that started a lot a a lot of videos going back and forth um a lot of going back and forth between jaylene and akashi and anuel but then, then a bomb was dropped when Takashi had said that Anuel was abusing Jaylene. And apparently this had happened when they were at the uh, resort area of the Dominican Republic called Casa de Campo. So apparently um, Anuel hit her while she was pregnant. This is allegedly, and also allegedly, which after this was brought up, allegedly Anuel had also hit Carol G, which is his former uh, girlfriend. And I'm also going to go to some reactions of some other famous rappers such as Arcángel. Take a look. <laughs> But, um, so after this going back and forth, then Jaylene drops uh, conversations on WhatsApp and conversations, audio conversations over the phone and voice notes that I know I had left to her about that situation. And apparently this is all proof that Anuel was abusing her 
while she was pregnant. So now I'm going to back to the song that just came out uh, a week or so ago. And this is a song by Takashi 69 featuring Jaylene and Kodak Black. Now, I don't know what the issue is between Kodak Black and Anuel, but I will break it down what I think it could be based on the song, based on what was said in the song. And Kodak Black and Anuel did do a song together uh, not too long ago. So they do have some history. So I'm, I was not aware until the song came out that that history may have been um, some bad blood that had came about during that history. So there's three verses. The first verse, Takashi 69. The second verse, Kodak Black. The third verse, Jaylene. So Takashi goes at it in English. Um, Kodak Black goes at it in English. And then Jaylene goes at it in Spanish. Not even talking about Takashi's uh, verse. Not even talking about Jaylene's verse. I'm going to go straight to Cole Black's verse. And here is the opening of that verse. Check it out. Nigga, how you lose your bitch to a snitch? <laughs> When I first heard that line, I thought, man, that, that, that cuts deep. And apparently the reaction of a lot of people who heard this song also felt the same as I did. Wow, that cuts deep. So I can do a more thorough analysis of the, this song and the verses and what it meant, but I'm not going to do all that. But what I will say is when I first heard this song and I'm seeing a reaction, because, you know, you know, look, um. Look, let me let me explain this. I'm a, I'm a singer myself. Back in the day, anyways, and I understand that there's a lot goes on between these artists, and sometimes all this is just for publicity. It's not really real beef or real issues that are going on. But I felt the need to, to bring this up because you know I'm I'm living in Latin America, and I'm definitely embedded in the uh, urban music, or what you say, musica urbana. And I felt that this was, one, an interesting crossover song, you know, with throwing with, where well, you have Takashi and Kodak Black and throw a Jaylene on there, because Jaylene is a major upcoming artist from the Dominican Republic, and she's teaming up with uh, two bigger artists. However, Takashi 69 has not been uh, soñando, recently however now that he has a song with Jaylene which says was very popular and this song he came out with Shakalaka which was a jab at Anuel uh, has also become pretty popular uh, I'm curious to see uh, where their careers go from now let me all let me know let me know what you all think about this situation uh, what you all think about that that line from Kodak Black and what you all think about this whole craziness that's going on between Anuel, Kodak Black, Jaylene, and Takashi 69. Peace.